What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. Giant cataclysmic floods are common in the ancient world because people live on they live right next to the water, right? So they just, when it floods really bad, they lose everything and they think it's like the whole earth, the whole earth was flooded. But, you know, the possibility of people surviving something like that and carrying down stories, I think is pretty likely, you know, that people who survive that imagine that, you know. It's like the movie mm -hmm. I Am Legend, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a different means yeah. here, but, and, you know, and that, a few people survived. And that was the end of the Ice Age. It superheated the Earth for a short period of time. There was, like, a period of darkness over the planet. Like, I think there's some kind of scientific evidence that the planet didn't have daylight for, like, a really long period of time, or certain periods that the planet didn't. And I think they are able to judge that by, like, soil layers. Um, I've seen something in the Yucatan going on where they're trying to judge, where they're trying to um, study these soil layers, and, and they can't, there's, like, a gap between um, like 12,000 and, and 11,000 years ago where like nothing was growing because they think that there was like a plume over the earth, you know? So, um, yeah. A plume? <clears throat> like, like some kind of like debris is in the air that is minimizing the sunlight that's getting through it. So the plants aren't growing the way that they would have. Okay. Um, so that's kind of scant evidence. But, you know, when you're studying something that happened 12,000 years ago, it's hard to find the evidence for anything. You know, it's just like little tiny clues, you know. Uh, even the studying of, of dinosaurs. I mean, do you know how many T-Rexes have been found? <clears throat> it's like 12. Like, in, in of all the dinosaurs that we know of, of all the dinosaur bones that you can go see at a museum, only 12 of those are actually real. I mean, they were, what, 65 million years ago? Something like that? Yeah, yeah. The the T-Rex was 65 million years ago. But, you know, that's... Jesus God. Yeah, and that's, that's crazy. And you know another thing that's crazy? So you know how like in, we always see the T-Rex and the Velociraptor, the Velociraptor yes. depicted together? Okay, that's not right at all. The T-Rex was 65 million years ago. The Velociraptor was 250 million years ago. <laughs> they didn't even, we are, we are three times as close to the T-Rex yeah. as the Velociraptor was. Um, do you remember that in, nuts. do you remember in, uh, in Jurassic Park when that one uh, raptor, I'm going to think of the name here in a second. It like spreads its little gills and spits the spits the, uh, the venom onto that person's yes. face. That's like the most iconic thing. So that's there's no evidence that backs up that it was able to spit out venom like that. But that thing is called the um, it's like a it's like a Dota Raptor or something like that. Um, but that guy existed about like 150 million years ago. So, so how long the mm -hmm. dinosaurs were estimated to be on Earth for? How many million years? Uh, well, okay, so they, they, they think that some, uh, lizard hybrid emerged out of the water. So it, it was originally a lizard that was like an aquatic lizard that came up on land. And that is like the mother being of everything. Like monkeys come from this lizard. Every single land animal yes. comes from this lizard, but that would be considered a dinosaur. And gosh, that, uh, 400 million BC. Yeah, yeah, 400 million BC, something like that. Or 400 million years ago. Yeah, when you get to those numbers, I'm like, whoa, that's that's hard to digest. But then, uh, like 150 million years later, you start having, um, you start having your more traditional looking dinosaurs. And then from 250 million BC to 65 million BC, yeah, you have, you have your classic reign of dinosaurs. And then you have. Then you have the great dying, which is like meteorite impacts hitting the earth, just destroying the planet. And then there's not um, there's not enough food left for these giant beings because it didn't kill all the dinosaurs instantaneously. Mm. It just destroyed the environment. And so you have the big dinosaurs that feed off of the plants. There's not enough plants there for them to eat. So they don't have enough calories to stay alive. So they die. And then the, the carnivore predators don't have prey anymore because there's no plant life so they all die and the only thing that's left are are small beings like uh you know they think that um it's funny saying it but you know it could be true that human beings came from like a little mouse that was alive at the time that was able to survive and then it thrived after 65 million bc and over 65 million years eventually we have hominids it, yeah because we're thinking of things in terms of <clears throat> like you know the founding fathers 250 years ago not even yeah. 250 years ago are old, but now extrapolate that exponentially over like 65 million years. Dude. A lot can happen. 
You know, it 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 just that has to hard if, to understand. If if every generation changes like I'm gonna make up a number right now, but changes point one percent. That's all it needs. Yeah. And then it gets it gets to where we're at. I mean, look at where we are height, weight, shape, abilities compared to fifteen hundred years ago. Yeah. Well, you know, um Alexander the Great was five six. He, all those guys were short. Yeah. Julius Caesar was like Five, eight, yeah, something. and they yeah, weren't. He was that, tall. Yes, you know? exactly. They weren't short for their time. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You know, so things like that's not a long time, and and that's why it's not. You know, when people try to argue that evolution isn't real or whatever, I, I think that's just denialism, man. I, I don't really. Yeah, yeah. If you want to really know what to tell <clears throat> you, if you want to see, so um, I. I I read the book. Uh, there's a really good book called Shaping Humanity where you can read about the study of, of like the evidence behind did we really come from ancient apes? Now, these are apes that aren't, that are, are extinct. They're gone. We are these apes, you know. Um, <clears throat> and is it heresy for me as a Christian to say I believe in evolution? I don't know. Don't really care. No, it's not. Um, it's bullshit. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> but so I read this book called Shaping Humanity and, um, yeah, it really explained a lot, opened my eyes to a lot, and made the argument a lot more probable to me. But then I would talk to people who disagree with me, and they would go, they go, well, where are apes today? Why aren't they turning into humans? Which is just like, you know, to anybody who is tapped into the scientific world even a little bit, you know that's like a really dumb question. Because no mother ever gives birth to a new species, but over time, new species evolve, if that makes sense. So like... It's like if you had a bunch of cards laid out and they each changed a little bit, you know, every next one is going to look exactly like the one right before it. But then you get a thousand cards deep and they don't look anything Mm. the same. You know what I'm saying? Or a thousand photos deep. They don't look anything the same. So it's just gradual changes over time. But one of the reasons I think that there must be some kind of mind behind all of this that gives things purpose, whether it's like God that's more similar to the force, that's like a... It's like a push forward for things to evolve in the right way because, you know, the the law of our universe is like a law of chaos. That it's like anything that can happen will happen and things just get destroyed. There isn't really anything that serves like that that life should exist as perfectly and balanced as it should be on planet Earth. And at some places we can see that it is balanced. And so, yeah, man, I just... Um, I kind of lost my train of thought there for a second. I was going deep down no, the rabbit hole. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, when I look at um, the theory of evolution, I don't think that it's, uh, I don't think that it's implausible. You know, I think it's, I think it's perfectly plausible that people evolved from an ancient ape that is, that has gone extinct. I think, I think <clears throat> we have plenty of proof for that. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.